What's up guys, my name is Nick, and it's a brand new series. So yeah, welcome to this brand new series. So this series is called Defunct. So this will be a continuous series, and I will not be placing a schedule for these videos, because all of my other topics for these videos. So anyways, here's the thing. You or I will pick a company, attraction, or filming studio that doesn't exist, and I'll gather information about that place, and I'll tell you what was their idea, foundation, downfall in the future. So, without further ado, let's get right on to the video. So today, I will be talking to you about Rankin Bass Productions, Inc. And before I start this video, I would like to give a great shout out to my good friend, AJ, for this. Without him, this video will not exist. So, thank you, AJ. So the company was founded in September 14th, 1960 as Videocraft International by two guys named Arthur Rankin Jr. and Julius Bass. So the majority of Rankin Bass's works included all of their animagic stop motion productions. It's what they it's what the company called stop motion. They were created in Japan. Throughout the 1960s, the Animagic Productions were headed by Japanese stop-motion animator Totio Machenge. I can't pronounce in Japanese, so... Their traditional cell animations were animated by Tui Animation, Crawley Films, and Moshi Productions. And since the 1970s, they were animated by the Japanese studio Topcraft, which was formed in 1972 as an offshot of Tui Animation. Many of many of Topcraft's staff, including the studio's founder Tuohara, who was creating, who was created in some of Rankin Bass's works would go on and join the successor, Studio Jimby, and work on Heomatsu case feature films including Nara of Valley of the Wind and My Neighbor Tora. In November 23rd, 1968, the company was renamed to Rankin Bass Productions, Inc. In addition to the name, Talented that provided the narrations for the specials, Rankin Bass had its own company of voice actors for the studio's early works. This group was based in Toronto, Ontario, where recording was supervised by veteran CBC announcer Bernard Cohen. This group included actors such as Paul Souls, Larry D. Men, and Paul Gildman. Mari Law served as the musical director for almost all of Rankin Bass's films. Romeo Miller was another consistent contributor, serving as the screenwriter for many of Rankin Bass's best known productions, including Rudolph, The Little Drummer Boy, and Frosty the Snowman. The company's first independently produced series was based on the character Pinocchio. And their first series to use traditional animation was The Tales of Wizard of Oz in 1961. Rankin Bass also attempted live action productions such as 1967 sequel King Kong Escapes, the co-production with Tuho, 1976's The Last Dinosaur, 1978's the Bermuda Depths, and 1983's The Sins of Dorhin Gray, with the expectancy of King Kong Escapes, were all made for television. In 2001, Fox aired Rankin Bass's first new original Christmas special in 16 years called Santa Baby, which like most of Rankin Bass's other specials were based on a popular similar Christmas song. 
Santa Baby stood out from its predecessors due to the use of African American characters and voices performer like Patti LaBelle, the narrator, Eartha Kitt, Gregory Hines, Vanessa L. Williams, and Tom Joyner. Unfortunately, Santa Baby turned out to be the final Rankin Bass produced special. Their partnership was dissolved shortly after, with most of the remaining assets acquired by Warner Brothers Television. Today, most of the library is under the hands of Warner Brothers and DreamWorks Classics. Anyways, that is it, you guys. My name is Nick, and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. You'll see me on the link in the description below. And thank you very much for watching. Welcome to Electric Mustang 104. This is my first video, so I'm going to be featuring Elizabeth and her slime collection. She has five different kinds of slimes. Some of them may feature a smell. So, yeah, like... Let's get right on to it.